guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Giving Crew. So a couple of people are going to be joining us today for today's reading. So I got uh, Kirk Cobain and Chris Cornell. So these are a couple of paintings that I've done recently. Um, I was pretty sad by Chris Cornell's death. So I decided to channel that energy into creating. Wow, this side of the camera actually works really well. I was trying to take pictures uh, with the other side, and they were turning out pretty blurry, so... Yeah, it's really showing how vivid the colors are. Anyway, okay, so I'm just going to pause that there for a minute. Alright, so this is going to be a Twin Flame reading uh, for May the 30th until June the 7th. So I'm going to be using the John Holland for the main cards and my deck for clarifiers. So yeah, I've been doing some paintings, um, so I'm a little behind on the readings. Um, you are being kept, you know, in order. Um, so I am getting to those little by little. Um, I do about three readings a day, and I think that's a, about enough for me. Beyond three, I, uh, I start to get the messages mixed up. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so Twin Flame reading. I'm just going to put these cards over there. All right, so beginning with the Divine Feminine Recent Past Position. So, conflict and defeat, five of swords. So, you know, this represents walking away from drama, negative energy, negative people. Something, something's been, um, you know, draining her energy. So, let's see what that's about. So, the eight of pentacles, the devil, and the lover's card. So the Eight of Pentacles represents putting a lot of work and effort into something and um, seeing a return from it, you know, seeing rewards, and that's what's kind of carrying you forward. There's a momentum that was building. Um, then the Devil card. The Devil is in between work and uh, the Lover's card here. So something um, disrupted this union or this um, connection that was growing in the 3D. So the devil represents, um, you know, the shadow aspect um, and your attachments to the 3D world. Uh, so, you know, could represent a codependent relationship or an addiction or just, you know, these beliefs in yourself um, that you're not good enough somehow. So you're, you're placing too much emphasis, or you were placing too much emphasis on the 3D. Uh, so it kind of made you stumble a little bit. Now, this could also represent that you've released an attachment or a chain, because here with the Five of Swords, there's an energy of you walking away. So the Lover's card represents, you know, a twin flame connection, a soulmate connection. Uh, so you feel each other on a soul level. So this represents like the passion, the love, uh, the sexuality, the intenseness of a relationship such as a twin flame. But it represents a longing for that union. So wanting that connection. So there's a sense that, you know, the feminine put a lot of work into um, trying to manifest her dreams into reality and it was happening but like I said something disrupted that energy and it feels like she needed to step away or withdraw from a situation in order to you know concentrate on herself uh, healing herself not necessarily the connection itself um, yeah so let's move on to the masculine I know I've, I've been talking a lot in the videos, they're getting a bit too long, my apologies, so I'll try and shorten them up a bit. So, the masculine's recent past position. Wow, the devil card again. 
Um, so this is coming in as the major energy. Um, here it is just a confirmation of what was going on. So that devil energy is coming from the masculine. So there was, you know, that stall was basically coming from him. Eight of Cups. Magician. Wow. And the Ace of Wands. So the masculine walked away um, emotionally, shut himself off from this devil energy. So there was a major disconnect, uh, an unchaining. The Eight of Cups represents um, just that, walking away from an emotionally abusive situation. Um, so somebody who's draining your energy, who's making you feel less than you are, um, and you no longer believe that about yourself. You unchained yourself, walked away. This is a spiritual journey, a, uh, a quest to find yourself, um, but also withdrawing emotionally. The Magician card is a major arcana, so this is number one. Uh, so it comes right after the Fool card. So it represents a brand new beginning, and so does this card as well. Um, so the Magician has the power to create the reality that he desires. So he uses alchemy uh, in order to change his environment and, you know, pull ideas from the ether and actually have those manifested into the 3D. So he's a very powerful um, energy with a direct connection to source, to the crown chakra, or through the crown chakra. Um, so the uh, Ace of Wands here represents go time. So, you know, it's a green light. It's a, a thrust forward. It's a brand new beginning in life. Uh, and it has to do with your spirituality. Wand is spirit energy. Um, so there's a sense that he began this new life. He walked away from a negatively, you know, negative situation that was draining him and realized that he can create a different life. So he detached himself from the 3D uh, in order to, you know, um, go into this uh, creative energy space where he can think up um, ways to manifest uh, his, you know, dreams. So, and he's doing that because he wants a, a brand new beginning, a new life. Okay, so the feminine present position. Wow, two of cups. Um, so she recognizes the union as being, you know, this deep soul connection. She had the lover's card and she has the two of cups. So the two of cups is um, all about love. It's all about the heart chakra being activated and the energy that is shared between the twins on a soul level. Uh, and it has to do with spirituality. Okay, so this connection awakens the twins to higher and higher levels of awareness and that's our purpose uh, to raise the consciousness to raise uh, the vibration of the, the planet basically so very nice so she understands this connection she feels um, a lot of deep love for the masculine well whoa whoa okay so um my cards just exploded here, so actually three cards just jumped out as clarifiers. So let me, that was weird. Sorry. Okay. So, um, the first card that jumped out is the star card. So Major Arcana. This represents wish granted. So she feels as if her wishes and dreams are coming true. Um, you know, that she is very thankful and grateful to have this connection in her life. Um, this card comes after a very difficult period of time, which is reflected down here at the Five of Swords and the Devil. Um, so, you know, there was some purging that was going on, a release. Um, so she, she's healed herself from whatever took place here. The throat chakra represents communication, and so does this page of pentacles as well. But the throat chakra could be listening to your inner voice as well as wanting to express yourself. The page of pentacles represents communication in the 3D, um, but it more has to do with planning, 
for your future in the 3D world. So we got a lot of pinnacle action on her side. So she, uh, the feminine is, um, you know, I'm feeling more of a, a grounding energy and planning for the future with her. Um, she's definitely doing a lot of work in the 3D. So yeah, this could represent being a student, but gaining knowledge, wisdoms, you know, honing your skills, that kind of thing. Um, so the cards together, she feels as if this is, you know, a dream come true, wish granted. And this could also be spirit saying that, yes, your dreams are coming true. But there's a sense that she wants to communicate with the masculine. Um, you know, I just want to remind uh, everyone that you are always connected with your divine masculine in the 5D. 5D connection is through the ethereal. We're connected to everybody through that energy. Uh, so when you're in a meditative state uh, and you quiet your mind, then you can, you know, receive messages and, you know, clairvoyant type stuff and clairaudience. So listening to your twin as well as listening to the collective consciousness as well as listening to your own inner guidance um, happens as a result of this connection. This uh, heart chakra activation opens up, you know, the other chakras as well. So it seems to me like the feminine wants to communicate something with the masculine, um, you know, or mm, no, that's what I'm feeling. Um, she knows this connection is real and she wants to manifest it is what I'm seeing in the 3D. So she's working towards the future is what I'm seeing. Okay, so the masculine present position, two of wands, waiting game. Uh, so this is making a decision in the past. We got the ace of wands, how convenient. And then the two of wands uh, has to do with making a decision that is not based on fear, but based on your higher calling, which is exactly what happened here. So he made a decision to walk through this, you know, metaphorical door towards the spirituality. Uh, so his mind is expanding currently. And so this energy could also represent waiting as well, waiting for something to come back to you in energy of some kind. And spirit is just verifying that energy is coming towards you. So confirmation. So high priestess, nine of swords and justice. So two major arcanas with a nine of swords in the middle. So the high priestess represents using your intuition. Um, you know, uh, the high priestess is psychic. So, um, you know, turning within, listening to your inner voice as well. Uh, but this also has to do with the subconscious. So it is, you know, quiet the mind, but doing it in order to um, review your past in order to, you know, uh, gain wisdom and knowledge as a result of um, all the things that you've done in the past and all the things that you've learned and use that um, to make decisions and to move forward. The Nine of Swords represents anxiety, stress, not being able to sleep, um, so nightmares, um, being consumed by fear and guilt. Uh, so currently the masculine is feeling this energy, this nine of swords, and notice how the energy is facing this feminine. Uh, so the high priestess to me is the feminine in her 5D, while the high priest is the masculine in the 5D. So it's like, you know, you may feel sad and, and um, alone uh, right now, masculine, but again, the feminine is always there with you, uh, offering you support and love. Um, while you're going through a difficult time and have no fear because it's going to work out in your favor. The justice card represents karma coming back to you in a good way. So what you reap, you sow. And usually when the card represents itself, it means that good things are coming to you. So he's waiting. Um, and he's, you know, in this anxious, uh, fearful state. But, you know, there's a sense that the feminine is calming him and reassuring him while he's waiting for something to transpire. Okay, so near future for the feminine. Nice. Four of Wands. Twin Flame 1111 confirmation. 
So near future, she's going to feel a deep connection with her masculine. Um, so again, there's a sense of this hopes and dreams and wishes coming true, and it has to do with this connection, spiritual union, and then we have it manifested in the near future. So let's see what the confirmations are. Four cups, a chariot, and the ten of wands. So the Four of Cups represents um, stagnation, boredom, things aren't moving fast enough, so it's a longing energy, um, you know, wanting something to happen, and it's just not happening. It, you know, it could also represent uh, you offering the masculine a cup of love and them not receiving it. Uh, the Chariot represents going after the stuff, the thing, the dream, that makes you come alive and happy. Uh, so this is a water card, which is emotions. Okay, so, but it's taking the reins and controlling yourself through the vortex, um, you know, and using that board to con control the wave as you move. And it, it's a very quick, you know, directed energy as well. So there's a sense that um, something ends, um, something that you've been waiting for for a very long time, and it comes in very quickly, very directed. The Ten of Wands represents um, um, stress. Basically, you've taken on too many burdens, too many responsibilities, and now you're exhausted. Okay. Um, I mean, you got the, the Star card and the Devil. Maybe you're just tired of wait, waiting and wanting and longing for this relationship, and that finally comes to an end very quickly. Um, so yeah, this 10 is an ending uh, to feeling this way, to feeling burdened, um, you know. It looks to me like both twins are kind of mirroring each other in this not being able to sleep, uh, stressful energy. But that, like I said, it ends. Okay, so near future for the masculine. Six of swords, moving on. So again, with that energy of moving on, moving on. Um, so this is a cups, which is water. So it has to do with emotions. And then this card is, um, oh, I just realized there's an 11 right here. The magician is one and then the ace. Um, so this is, ooh, this has to do with your thoughts. Uh, so this is finally making a decision to walk away from a negative um, situation. So, yeah, um, and you can see that the energy is moving from the dark to the light. So it is moving from chaos to calm. Five of Swords. So it's the same card here. And we have that progression, five, six. Crown Chakra. Wow, Ten of Cups. So, Five of Swords, he's walking away from this finger-pointing, you're not good enough, you suck, um, you did this wrong, you did that wrong, you need to be responsible in this way, you know, it's just, he's not living up to someone's expectations. Uh, the Crown Chakra, again, it's activated in order to connect with Source, to be inspired and download information and... Um, you know, it's about awakening your consciousness. So this is incredible to have this on the masculine side. It's like an aha. You know, I I see things clearly now. I know that's what the crown chakra has to do with. It's thought. I understand what I want now. I don't want this. I want this. The Ten of Cups represents, um, you know, uh, that happily ever after. So it's emotional abundance, happy ending. Um, so it's a 10, so it reduces to a 1. So it's an ending but a new beginning. So he's moving towards love, towards his heart. And it's because of this awakening. He realizes he's, you know, worth so much more than that. Okay, final outcome for the feminine. Nice. New beginnings. Didn't you guys get this in last week's Twin Flame reading? So, Fool, um, yeah, it's starting that new life. The Four of Wands represents marriage, um, 
engagement, buying a home together, but it's just sharing your life with your um, spiritual um, other half, basically, in the 3D. Wands is spiritual energy. And then the Fool card is starting from zero, very much like this card. Um, so it is, you know, starting a brand new life. Um, the Fool is carrying that wand in her hand as she takes that leap of faith. So, yeah, it's, you know, having, you know, looking at the future through a child's eyes. So it's not having any expectations. It's just taking that leap of faith and having a lot of fun while you're doing it. Sun cards, three of wands, and the knight of swords. So sun card, best major arcana to get. Um, so it's all the happy feels. Abundance, reward, um, success. It has to do with a brand new beginning as well, seeing life through a child's eyes. So there's a sense of a return to innocence as a final outcome. The three of wands, we got that progression. We have a one, a two, and then there's a three here. So three of wands is that return. Um, you know, you're waiting for the ships to come in, and then you're starting to see the initial fruits of your labor. <clears throat> Sorry. So um, it's feeling successful. You're on your, the right spiritual path, and you're basically, you know, given the go light to continue, keep doing that. Um, there's abundance and happy feels coming towards you and it's going to happen very quickly the knight of swords comes in very fast um he's the champion uh the rebel without a cause so he fights for justice and uh this also has to do with communication so the this could also represent a air sign uh this page could represent an earth sign so um, there's a masculine here and a feminine here. So there's a sense of this energy of the masculine coming towards the feminine. And they are beginning a new life together. So this is about speaking your truth, knowing your truth, cutting through barriers, darkness, and um, yeah, just communication. So, you know, maybe a message comes in very fast that, you know, creates this explosion of happy feels in a new beginning all right so final outcome for the masculine nice throat chakra so mirroring here you guys both got the throat chakra so present position the feminine either desires communication or is listening to her inner voice so the masculine is mirroring and so maybe he's the one that it, like i said earlier that is going to be expressing himself Two of Swords, Eight of Wands, yeah, and Nine of Wands. Um, okay, so Two of Swords represents making a decision. So, you know, this is having two choices, and they, you know, they're both life changers, okay? So because they're so important, there's a sense of fear not wanting to make the decision. It's better just to stay where you are. So I'm feeling that the masculine makes a decision, okay? And he has, clearly. You know, emotionally he walked away in the past, and mentally he's walking away in the future um, towards his heart. Whoa. So, yeah, there's a sense that he makes that decision, he wants to communicate it. So the Eight of Wands is all about communication. So it's texting or uh, phone calls or, you know, instant messenger, that kind of thing. Um, but it could also represent Cupid's arrows or it's really great energy coming towards the masculine or he's sending it out. So, you know, it's reaching for the stars and having that energy finally come back to you, that karma energy coming towards you. It also has to do with being on the correct path, spiritual path, choosing um, your heart and also choosing your higher spiritual calling. Uh, the Nine of Wands represents um, the wounded warrior so this communication or this decision to actually 3D walk away um, comes after a lot of battling, a lot of fighting. So there's a sense of him being guarded. Um, so, yeah, but the nine represents nearing the end of feeling this 
you know, woundedness. So it's a turnaround, especially with this Eight of Wands energy here. All right, so what is the feminine bringing in? Four of Pentacles, so firm foundation. Uh, this could also represent being closed off or holding on too tightly to something. Page of Wands, the Queen of Swords, whoa, and the Ace of Cups. So the Page of Wands could represent a fire sign, but this is communication. It's good news. It's uh, gasoline being poured on the fire, so it's an explosive, happy energy. So the Queen of Swords could represent an air sign, but you know it's a divine feminine, knowing your truth, speaking your truth, and um, kind of holding your ground in a way. Um, it also represents seeing through bullshit, but. I'm feeling communication is important in the reading. The Ace of Cups represents a brand new beginning of love. Uh, so, you know, after you're healed your heart, let go of the BS in the past and forgiven yourself and others, that's when you can receive love. So she, it feels like she's heavily grounded in her knowing and um, she's has her heart open um, and she's excited about, you know, her life in general and she knows her truth and she's unwavering so again it, it feels like she really needs wants to communicate with the page of wands as a messenger it's um, exciting news and then the queen is also communicator um, air is all about communication so there's a sense that she wants to communicate this love and um, yeah, she's unwavering, solid, like the mountain there. Okay, what is the masculine bringing in? Three of pentacles. So we got a four here and a three. So this represents a foundation being laid, and it's being recognized for your skills and your hard work, that kind of thing. The five of wands. Wow, there's that door. Two of wands and five of cups. So two fives. And then a repeated card here in the middle with the two of wands. So five of wands represents obstacles, challenges, it's somebody disagreeing with you. And it's always meant to make your light shine brighter. So there's a sense that he's overcome some form of obstacles. Um, and he feels stronger for it. He decided to, you know, start a new life. Or at least see things from a different perspective, from a higher perspective and so that energy of a decision and waiting is still being brought into the union the five of cups represents um, mourning loss um, sadness deep sadness from loss so you know there's a sense that there is this new beginning that has be been begun uh, the decision was made in the past and there's a foundation that's been uh, laid as a result of these obstacles that he's overcome, but there's deep sadness, you know, stress, um, not o only emotional sadness, but like just being consumed by thoughts and anxiety. And he's bringing that energy into the, the union. So, you know, the feminine seems to be, uh, her spirits are uplifted, even though there's a pause here. Um, she seems to be pretty you know, happy, more or less, and um, optimistic, whereas the masculine is, you know, basically the same thing. Um, he's in a sad state, he's walked away, and, uh, you know, things are becoming more brighter. But what he's bringing into the union is his obstacles and sadness. So, just a reminder to the masculine that the feminine will always mirror how you're feeling. If you're sad, she'll feel sad. Um, so I'm seeing there's a lot of happiness here with the feminine. So, and, you know, like I was saying before, in the present position, there's a sense that the feminine is providing that, you know, positive energy to help pull you out of any kind of negative um, feelings that you might be feeling currently. 
So you're not alone, and um, you know, yeah, just be happy and be optimistic about the future. Okay, so the foundation balance justice card again. So another repeated card. Um, I don't see it right now. Oh, I thought it was in the yeah. It's in his present position, the masculine. So again, this represents. Um, you know, karma coming back to you in a good way, uh, so cause and effect, but what I'm seeing here is the 11, and the fact that it's at the foundation, there's this ground, you know, balanced energy on both sides, and that's kind of what I'm seeing here. You know, both of you are deciding to walk away from negative, um, and there's a new life starting, you know, in the future, so maintaining your balance, um, not going to the extremes, um, you know, if you overindulge in something, that will come back to you in a negative way. So I'm just going to pull one card for the feminine first, three of pentacles and the masculine, three of swords. Wow, this card has been coming up a lot for the masculine. This one and the ten of swords has been coming up. So, um, you know, three of swords represents heartache, heartbreak. So that's why he's sad. Um, he's had to release something, you know, something that he's stressing about and will need to walk away from. And, and you know, it's bringing sadness into his heart. So he needs to heal. Um, the Three of Pentacles, repeated card here. So you guys got both got threes. Very interesting. So. The Three of Pentacles is, you know, that grounding energy, feeling successful, being placed on a pedestal, um, and working towards the future. It has to do with planning as well. But I'm just feeling there's a balance here. While the masculine is, you know, purging, um, the feminine is providing stability. Okay, so crowning, truth, grand awakening. So this is judgment card. So this is realizing your entire life has just been an illusion. And uh, so it's a rebirth. It's a detachment from the material world and um, starting a new life. So one card for the feminine first. Solar plexus chakra. And eh, wow, heart chakra. Oh, wow. Okay, so like I was saying, this awakening here activates higher levels of consciousness. So it, the masculine's heart chakra is activated. And it's because of this rebirth, um, this awakening that he's going through. And the feminine is mirroring that. She's providing power, courage, strength um, by, you know, standing in her knowing in terms of this awakening you know she's wide awake and she's um providing strength whereas the masculine is his heart chakra is activated and he's following his heart because of this awakening okay so heart centered energy power strength card um so this is finding strength and courage in order to do something, to deal with something. So clearly he's trying to find the strength in order to walk away from something negative. And the feminine is, you know, in this stagnation, longing energy still. Um, and she's just, you know, trying to find the strength not to walk away from the connection altogether is what I'm feeling. So I'm going to pull one card for the feminine, Divine Masculine. And the third eye chakra. Wow. Okay. So again, further confirmation that the masculine is really opening up um, to higher levels of consciousness. He's got the crown chakra and the third eye chakra. So this is all about using his intuition. Um, so he's finding inner strength by connecting with his higher self and allowing his intuition to guide him. Um, the divine masculine. Um, the feminine is what I'm feeling. She's providing this soft strength um, and helping the masculine see who he is. 
um, you know, behind the illusion, but behind the masks, this pure, authentic, loving man, I think she's reflecting that energy. So, wow, it's beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. Wow, crown chakra. Again, so it's a shared energy. Dang. You guys are activated. So it's that connection that you guys share, you know, through the ethereal that we all share. We're all connected through the crown chakra. And um, so that's amazing for an overall energy, awakening, awareness of how, you know, significant and different this connection is. Okay, so I'm going to pull two cards from Miss and Mermaids for a message from the universe. So feminine first, sea beasties, and the masculine mermaid with pink lotus. Now what do I do with my book? Oh, there it is. So I'll read the feminine first. Sea beasties. Here in the murky depths we dwell, trapped in darkness like a jail, obscured by she who holds a key, yet chooses not to lift the veil. Our clandestine existence can, our shadows no longer condone. Buried deep we wait, we sleep, unknowable or just unknown. Yeah, so waiting. A strange maiden in a tentacled headdress fixes her uh, sightless gaze straight ahead. Unaware of the bizarre creatures surrounding her at the bottom of the deepest sea. Uh, the meaning is be aware of deeply buried thoughts and desires. Lately you have been, you have felt some unfamiliar stirrings from thoughts and desires buried deep below the surface. These elements of self may be the things you have forgotten and they may be things that you have intentionally ignored or unconsciously repressed. However, they are still there and it is time to acknowledge their existence. These ideas and emotions, perhaps even fear, may be difficult to retrieve or recall, but don't worry. Uh, nothing is impossible, and the more you concentrate on becoming self-aware, the better you will become at understanding these hidden pieces of your personality. So number one, mermaid with pink lotus. Close your drowsy eyes, sorry, Close your drowsy, drooping eyes and come with me to paradise. Leave your cares for just an hour to focus on floating flower. Let the water soothe your flesh and leave you rested, fit and fresh. A fair mermaid drifts languidly among a tangle of lily pads in a tranquil lagoon. A single pink lotus blossoms, adorns her hair, and um, a second floats nearby in a pool. So relaxed is she that her sight that her slight movements do little to disrupt the surface of the water. So the meaning is make an effort to relax. Stop what you're doing and take a deep breath. It's time to relax. You're not selfish and that can be a blessing. Helping your loved ones is an important part of who you are, but sometimes it's okay to set aside your worries about others and take some time for yourself. Maybe you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed. Try not to let it wear you down. Instead, try these relaxation techniques to improve your health and well-being. Number one, close your eyes and imagine a personal paradise. What do you see, hear, and feel? Let yourself become engulfed in these sensations. Allow your breathing to become slow and even and notice your energy flow through your body. This will help you feel refreshed and rejuvenated. Number two, um, take a hint from our mermaid friend and let yourself be soothed by calming water. A walk near a beach or a lake or a rest near a bubbling fountain can bring inner tranquility. Number three, are you finding it difficult to relax? A change in environment can be most helpful in reducing stress. A short getaway from some pampering, sorry, for some pampering at a spa could be just what your body and mind need to chase away the stress. All right, so yeah, he's definitely very anxious and stressed about something. So yeah, just look after yourself. 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if it resonated. Peace.